Good evening. Actually, I don't care what time zone you're in. A lot of people ask me about how I make my desktop look like this. Um, well, here we go. This is a standard Windows 7 desktop here. Uh, Windows 8 is for losers and charlatans. I hate Windows 8. Hopefully Windows 9 will be better. Anyway, here's a standard Windows 7 desktop. Um, nothing special about it at all. The main software that I'm using is Window Blinds uh, by Stardock. Um, there are several other bits and pieces that I like to use um, as well, but Window Blinds is the main thing. However, uh, when it comes to creating a desktop, see, here we go, Windows 7 Ultimate, 64-bit. Ah, pretty uh, average computer. Um, not powerful at all. Uh, but um, the main things for changing your desktop are going to be window blinds, but your wallpaper makes a huge difference as well. I like to use a nice dark wallpaper. Here it is spanned across two monitors, but also keep it low contrast. One of the problems with using the sort of default colourful skins in Windows is it uses things like absolute whites and absolute blacks, which are very harsh on the eyes. So I like to keep my wallpaper a sort of middling grey with uh, no heavy blacks, no heavy whites. Oh, um, just letting you see this is Explorer. Yeah, I've got quite a few drives. And um, yeah, it's all pretty standard. Uh, I did use a registry script in order to keep all my icons small. Right, this is Window Blinds 7. Um, I actually don't like Window Blinds 8. It does pretty much the same. Um, here's some other dark skins I tried. Oni is quite good, but it's too dark. Um, it <laughs> creates problems with actually being able to read a lot of things. Uh, just too much black on black. MBM quite like this. A uh, bit grey, that's alright. Didn't like some of the cryptic glyphs. And oh god, it's let down by these horrible colourful buttons. Um, dark side 2. Oh, almost. Nice dark skin, but uh, lens flares like a child using Photoshop for the first time. It's just too much. Um, that amount of highlighting just grates on your eyes after a while. I like to keep it uh, fairly dark and regular. So, my favourite window blind skin at the moment is uh, Seven Dusk by uh, Tom Richter. Um, it's dark, it's uniform, but um, it's fairly easy to see and it doesn't have anything nasty. Anyway, we'll just apply it. It takes a couple of seconds for it to happen. Go. Cool. Flick. And there we go. It's loaded in. And uh, you can see straight away the taskbar's changed and the framing of this window's changed. Right. Um, there's Explorer. Oops. Hasn't updated the font. Oh. Ah. Choose an empty drive. Ah, for goodness sake. There we go. So, the, um, it's all quite readable, nice and dark. And um, yeah, a lot, a lot of window blinds, dark skins don't do the uh, folder tree, um, because I think that wasn't a setting until quite recently. And there are various uh, settings in window blinds that you may like to play with, um, such as you know, transparency and blur here. And you can override the fonts, which I don't necessarily recommend. Some skins come with their own wallpapers, some of which can be quite nice, but um, I doubt it. Um, yeah, you can even apply texturing and all kinds of stuff. Um, add colours. That can be quite fun to play with, um, but um, not, not something that I want to. Um, has trouble working with the dark skin, of course. Um, some skins for window blinds come with uh, sub-styles, maybe a darker or a lighter version or different colours. Anyway. Um, that's about it. Oh, yeah, there are extra settings that not all applications like uh, window blinds. So, for instance, I have to exclude Photoshop and uh, oh, Logitech gaming software. Um, otherwise, they don't work. Uh, or they work slightly funny. Just about everything works with window blinds, only a few things don't. Um, but hey, you know, not everything works with everything. Uh, Icon Packager is uh, another th item from the Object Desktop, which is the suite of applications that Windows Lives is part of. I like this uh, Signs Package. It's quite an old set of icons, and they're quite weird. Um, but um, I rather like them because the uh, standard icons are awful. Anyway, load them in. There we go. Uh, they're quite subtle. You know, nice and black. They don't draw the eye. 
Oh yeah, you might notice that the icon text doesn't appear unless I hover over it. This is a setting from something else I'll look at in a minute. So there we go, it's replaced um, most of the icons. Uh, it won't replace everything, but um, all the ones it knows about. I find that just complements the dark skin nicely. It's window effects, this is the thing that... Um, well, it does a few things. Um, it's got lots of funny little settings, like you can choose um, little animations to play when you fade in and out of menus or windows, you know, when you open and close them or minimize them or whatever. Um, I generally don't like to use any of these, but you might see they do little tricks like that. There you go. Ooh. You know, uh, some people like these. Personally, I find them just distracting, and I get tired of them within a couple of minutes. Um, but, you know, there are loads of them. Um, one of the main things that this does is it adds momentum to your window. See, as I drag it along, when I let go, um, it slides along for a little bit afterwards. It's very subtle and I hardly ever notice it, but um, I more notice it when I use a computer that doesn't have it. It's just a nice little touch that helps unify the whole thing. Um, anyway, yeah, desktop icons. Um, yeah, hide icons and double click, it just gets rid of them all if I want to keep the desktop clean. Um, hide the label and hide shortcut overlays as well. I hate the shortcut overlay, it's a horrible, ugly little arrow. Um, just ruins anything. Um, so, yeah, it's quite nice to hide the text because then I don't have this white text fighting for my eye. Um, I like that. Anyway, that's window effects, completely unnecessary, but also part of the uh, object desktop package. Yeah, you find a lot of things like here I'm using Yahoo widgets because I hate the Windows ones. Um, generally, dark colouring is an option in a lot of these things. Uh, an awful lot of things have the ability to have a dark skin. Like here's Winamp. Um, it's got a nice, I think it's mono dark, modern skin. Um, you know, maybe you're trying to go for a purple desktop or whatever, but not everything is going to have a purple skin or purple look to it by default. Whereas if you're choosing a dark desktop, you probably can find quite a lot of things that are going to match up nicely. Um, now, what else? Oh yes, uh, let's just start Photoshop. If you don't have an SSD drive, get an SSD drive. That's how quickly stuff loads. Photoshop by default comes with a nice sort of grey dark colour scheme. I haven't had to do anything to it. This is what it looks like no matter what your system is. You know, like I say, there's a lot of things that will match up with a dark desktop, produce a nice consistent layout. Um, there are downsides. Um, I'll just open Microsoft Word here. Na -de -na -de -na. SSD. Yeah, the paper comes out black. Now, it's not going to print like that. It's not really like that, but that's just how it's going to display. Um, now, obviously, text is going to turn out just fine. Um, because it's set to an automatic colouring, so it'll all turn out as you wish. Um, can't I type quickly? Ooh. Yeah, now I'm going to open a document here, which I know... It's one from work, actually. Yeah, see, the text has been specified as black, so I can barely bloody read it. Fantastic, eh? So, there are going to be certain shortcomings if you go with the dark desktop. Um, you will have to discover what they are and get used to them. Um, you can edit any window blind skin yourself to change the color settings or even create your own. Um, now before I go, I'm just going to show you my Windows XP desktop. Yeah, as you can see it was a bit lighter and greyer, uh, but still quite a nice dark desktop. I just noticed the weather on the widget is exactly the same then as it is today. Um, yeah, so... Um, very similar. I was still using Icon Packager with the same uh, icon set, using window effects for shadowing and um, yeah, slightly different window blind skin, which I did customize uh, quite a bit, um, just so that it would uh, work out the way I liked. But I like to keep this sort of consistent dark look. It just makes it a lot easier and more pleasant when you're working with uh, graphics, especially and video too. Uh, your eyes and getting strained by these bright whites and blacks and primary colors. Anyway, that's all there is to uh, change your desktop. Um, object desktop uh, includes window blinds, window effects, various other things. It costs me $25 US a year to buy, which is quite cheap. 
uh, you can buy window blinds alone for ten dollars um, which is quite reasonable and um, it is going to sort of last forever um, there's a link to uh, all the software that I use uh, in the video description below um, so feel free to have a look goodbye <laughs>